Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about the interaction between the menstrual cycle and the hypothalamus, pituitary, and gonadal axis. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to like and subscribe as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Now let's consider the interactions between the menstrual cycle and the HPG axis. Specifically, let's consider the feedback mechanisms, corpus luteum formation, and the LH surge and ovulation. When it comes to the feedback mechanism, let's consider estrogen and progesterone. Throughout the menstrual cycle, estrogen and progesterone levels fluctuate. These hormones exert negative feedback on the hypothalamus and pituitary glands. However, sometimes when certain thresholds of these hormones are met, they can also exert positive feedbacks. Estrogen and progesterone inhibit the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone is a key hormone that stimulates the pituitary gland to release FSH and LH. Estrogen and progesterone also inhibits the secretion of FSH and LH from the pituitary gland. This negative feedback mechanism ensures that hormone levels remain within a certain range, preventing excessive stimulation of the ovarian follicles and regulating the time of ovulation and menstruation. When it comes to the corpus luteum formation, typically around day 14 in a 28-day cycle, there is a surge of LH secretion from the pituitary gland. This surge in LH is triggered by rising levels of estrogen. As the ovarian follicles mature, they produce increasing amounts of estrogen. When estrogen levels reach a certain threshold, they exert a positive feedback effect on the hypothalamus and pituitary gland. This leads to the release of a large amount of LH. The LH surge is crucial for triggering ovulation. It stimulates the release of a mature oocyte from the dominant follicle in the ovary. This surge marks the peak of fertility in the menstrual cycle as ovulation allows for the possibility of fertilization and conception. Following ovulation, the ruptured ovarian follicle transforms into a structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone and some estrogen. These hormones play essential roles in preparing the endometrium, that is the lining of the uterus, for the potential implantation of a fertilized egg. Progesterone helps to maintain the thickened endometrial lining, making it suitable for implantation. It also supports the secretion of uterine fluids that nourishes the embryo. The presence of the corpus luteum and its hormone secretion maintains the hormonal environment necessary to sustain a potential pregnancy. If fertilization and implantation occurs, the developing embryo secretes human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, which supports the continued function of the corpus luteum. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.